Hello and welcome back to my very pink couch. My name is Christy Lukasiak. Thank you for watching this YouTube video today. And if you are not subscribed to this YouTube channel, which I know there's a bunch of you out there who are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications so you know when I am posting. So I am back. I know it's been a minute. Thanks for going on my trip to New Orleans with me. That was so much fun. My big announcement about New Orleans is coming up very soon. You are going to love it. If you haven't heard the news, Kelly and I have a podcast. It's called Back to the Bar, like a ballet bar, B-A-R-R-E, not like a bar bar, like Kelly's favorite bar. Every week we go back to the ballet bar and we recap old Dance Bombs episodes. And not only do we recap it, but we also give you all of this behind the scenes, juicy tea, hot steamy tea, and we tell you everything that was kind of going down that never made it to air. Since we have started this podcast, I get so many suggestions from you guys about different accounts that we should react to. And since TikTok is one of my favorite places to react to Dance Moms content, I thought this was a perfect opportunity to do just that. All of these videos that I'm gonna react to today are actually by the same creator. This account is called x.edits by Emma X. <laughs> There's a lot of X's in there. Not those kind of X's, okay? These are all PG. She takes edits and she mocks us through editing, which I think is kind of fun. Thank you, Emma, for sharing these videos. I hope that you get lots of new followers from this and uh, thank you for all your hard work. Let's see what you have in store for me, shall we? Does anybody know anything about this diary man Frank? Because I have no clue of the story. Okay, before I even go on, I have to stop this here because, because my and Holly's faces are brilliant, but also I have a really ugly dress on. Not shocking. So that's the other thing we do on the podcast is every week when we go back, we give somebody bottom of the pyramid for their outfits, and I have won quite a few times. That's a standard part of curriculum in middle school. <laughs> You gotta love Paul. To read the diary of Anne Frank. Easy, easy. I don't really know much about Anne Frank, but what I do know is that I don't think she was doing cartwheels. <laughs> love Kelly. I do. I love Kelly. I also love that she says she doesn't read books. She only reads magazines. That girl, she's ridiculous. Kelly, I do think you're right. I don't think Anne Frank did do cartwheels. I'm just saying. So let's watch the next one. Where's Holly? Mia, where's your mother? She's at home. She needs to leave work, leave the job, forget it, and be here with you. That's what you think. All the moms are there and one isn't. <laughs> okay, the editing with Nia blinking is brilliant. Love the sound effects. That is Chef's Kiss Gold Star. All moms are there and one isn't. I think Nia feels badly. I'm pretty sure Nia feels badly because you're making her feel badly. Blink. <laughs> She told me that Ed was being harsh, that she was being unreasonable, it's true. that she even threatened to replace me. <gasps> I'm a little concerned. She's getting a solo this weekend. What is happening? Wait, I do love how Holly just kind of meanders in there. Like, what you gonna do? I'm at work, please. But the funniest thing is Abby's giving Holly a hard time about being at work, but she always gave us a hard time for being there. So pick your poison. Yeah, just check in to see if everything's okay between us because it doesn't sound like no. the parents were required to be here today. Moms who don't work. I do like how Emma makes all of Abby's voiceovers sound like double voices. More flexible schedule, but you know that I work. So. If you can. And you want to speak your opinion, you be here at the meeting. Let's not go there once again. You need to be here. I feel right now that I care more about Nia's success than you do. No. Abby, you My must. dad even took me to the mother-daughter talk about getting your period. My dad took me because my mother was at work. Oh my gosh. She's talking about a period. <laughs> She's not that I cannot remember this happening. She needs you to be here. Oh, she needs people to take notes. Abby. You think you're up here because you 
you have a doctorate and everybody else is That's down your here. Problem, you're intimidated by me because hey. you have a Abby, don't be ignorant. Please. That's it. No. Woo! I totally forgot about this scene and I'm gonna say, woo! All right, what is this one? Do you guys like my singing voice? Don't lie, you know you love it. Oh boy, you gotta love a Jill moment. Are we, are we done now? Why now? Right in the middle of Paige. Stand right over there, I'm gonna let her do it again, and I will just finish her and I can talk to you. Okay. Paige finally got a solo in a proper rehearsal, and Jill comes fussing in the room during her private. That's ridiculous. I don't know how she does. <laughs> Wait, is Jill wearing a Paisley poncho? I have questions. <laughs> Working, working, working. And, and that's what I want for my kid. And I need to know, Abby, are you going to let Kendall come back in this group? Well, you didn't sign anything. You didn't tell anybody you were here. I think coming into the room was really inappropriate. I, I didn't have any choice. And I Joe has a whole lot of groveling to do and a whole lot of paperwork to sign before this kid is back on any team. Whoa, okay, I have to stop right there because Abby's hair is all big and she's wearing a lot of flitsam and jetsam on her necklace. I'm getting really strong Ursula vibes here. that she is the original working girl. You know, no one ever had a job and raised any kids before her. You're making the book, no. Oh. Wait, what are all of these intercut really bad pictures? Oh, yeah. What's going on? Oh, I get it. Holly has a crown because she's the queen. I didn't get that. You are never gonna believe who uh, came into pyramid today. I'll give you three guesses. Jill? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, wow. even better. She got Kelly's haircut and it's white. Oh, I color. Oh, I know. The number is really cool. Let me find you. It's okay, really. Wait, I'm gonna say. I do have to say, every time they have Jill walk in the room with the little high heel noise is pretty freaking funny. Shoving her in again. Look at her. Oh, Hold the phone. I am pretty sure that the shirt Holly is wearing in this scene, Kelly had on the dress version of this when she and I were in Shadyside passing out flyers for the dance competition. My mind just went. She's in the witness protection program. She's trying to escape. She's a clown. Oh my god. So this person, Emma, took the ludicrousness of Dance Moms and just kicked it up like to the 10th level. But I do have to say, I kind of like Jill's hair better like this. I think she looks a lot younger. Wait, <laughs> I am dead with the shoes. I'm really dead with the high heel sound. Well, Melissa told me that you said it was rigged. I'm entitled to my opinion because I'm 42 years old and I'm a free American citizen. So I Plastic rhinestone crap. It was blue, in case you were wondering. In my knowledge. That's something you can never take away. Then, Love it. This hair. <gasps> it's blue. And you can only your hair and your face and your body and everything else. Can I join your dance company? Wait! I'll do it. I'm taking people. up in the background hey people let's start with you look in the mirror Polly had to go after me you go for the jugular wait the eyeballs Holly, let's start get a padded bra don't wear dresses what else do you want me to tell you oh. i can't holly wear dresses and you know what i got approval for those braids when i got them put in not in from my dance company did it yes, says I right did. here yes, do I not did. change your hair and you know what I oh, wait i'm dying because the kids are like it's like a Scooby-Doo cartoon. They're like, what is going on? You can let it go. Pick someone up and you're so 
touch it and just fix it. Fix yourself. Look in the mirror. Whoa, Holly looks pretty in her interview. I like that look, Holly. Leave my kid alone. Amen. Oh, oh you gotta get up. You gotta get up. Okay, I'm gonna watch maybe two more. I just have to say, before this video even begins, I am the world's biggest Vivi stan. I stan Vivi from the moment she stepped foot in the studio. I think she is a brilliant comedic actress. I am dying that I have a Vivi moment. I'm gonna look at you, that's your- Could you imagine if Kathy was your mom? She's gonna look at you! Okay, all right, okay. Okay. Don't be sitting over here sleeping. You gotta dance like you want a puppy. You gotta earn your puppy. Now's the time. Okay. That was our deal. Earn your puppy. Yes. Now's the time to earn our puppy. Earn oh, our sorry. puppy. Earn okay. it. Now wait a second. I always did pinky swears with Chloe. I never promised a puppy and I never cut her with my ring. I did not know that the ring came right after the puppy. <gasps> the things you don't know. Kathy has to get on her spectacles to examine Vivi's cut. I cut my finger on my mom's wing. I hope I can still dance. You know what, Vivi? Prayers to you. I hope that you can still dance too. We are all sending our best wishes. Kathy was sitting right behind me. She did not know what to do. Abby, did she congratulate you? She never said congratulations to me. So as a sign of good sportsmanship, come on, we're going to go tell her. As a sign of good sportsmanship, we're gonna go rub it in her face. This girl, you got Abby's number. You know what's up. Our kids did a great job. I went to the dressing room to see Kathy because I want the B costume back. Oh God. This is the disco ball moment. Oh my God. I wanted to tell you all congratulations. I, I thought she did a great job. I don't know what happened. Oh, Kathy is wearing fur. Hmm. She must have stolen that from Jill's closet. The ugly B costume that Vivi wore? Yes. I gave it to the girl. How about my eye roll in the background? I am always good for a really dramatic eye roll, no matter what. Yes. Wait, they put little devil ears back on her. That's hilarious. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Disco ball. A rude, mean little woman. She's a nasty old. Disco ball. By the way. Disco ball. I am pretty sure I still have the disco ball dress. Maybe I'll wear it in another YouTube video. Well, that was certainly entertaining. Again, I don't remember much of season two. So if these are all the fights I have to look forward to, then this is gonna be quite an experience as I continue to recap this with Kelly because I don't remember any of them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications, leave a comment below which one of these clips was your favorite because um, I feel like there's some really iconic moments here and I will see you back here next time. Have a great week. Bye.